Hey guys, welcome back. So if you have a car, you know that there's a time that comes that you're gonna have a check engine light. And most cars, you know, especially older ones, you know, will have a check engine light here. And most people don't know what to do with that check engine light. So there's a few options. You can go to like a auto parts store and check the engine light. Or you can get something that's ready available like this OBD2 reader. So there's quite a few different kinds on the market. There's kinds where you can just plug in and then connect your phone to it. But then there's these kind where you can read it out right here. And these are probably a little more friendly because connecting a dongle and connecting wirelessly to your phone could be a hassle. So if you got a check engine light or anything you want to find out of your vehicle, you need to get one of these. All right, guys. So this thing is a pretty generic one. It's by IE Car, and it's compatible with 1996 or newer OBD2 vehicles. So, and this thing can check all your basic information on your vehicle. So, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right. And so, as you can see, it fits right in your hand. It's a really good size, and the cord is not crazy long. Where you know it's hard to store. And on this other side here is the dongle. Here on the screen, there's a little protector here that just peel it right off so you know we can have a, a little better view there all right guys so at the moment we don't have anything wrong with this car but we will go ahead and plug it in into this car and see you know what kind of information we can pull up all right guys so every car would have a different place where the plug is on this car it is actually under the dash here most cars will be under the dash sometimes they're on the passenger side and Sometimes they're in weird areas, but most cars are over here. So this one's pretty simple. It's actually right here. So I'm just gonna plug it right there, just like that. And as you can see, this thing comes to life. All right, so it says, I guess it's connected, and uh, it says enter to scan, or the setup for scroll. I guess let's push scroll. All right, so we got language, units of measure, and contrast. So I guess it's just basic kind of things. And let's go ahead and try to scan the car. So we'll push enter. And there it is, trying to scan something. Waiting for a vehicle to respond. So it's probably not going to respond because it's not on right now. Yeah, verify that the ignition is on. Yeah, what we got to do is we got to um, turn the ignition on or actually crank it. push enter so let's try that again by pushing enter okay there we go codes found zero monitors in a4 okay diagnostics okay if you would have uh, codes it would come up right here so let's go ahead and read codes so we got no codes that's good all right so if you would have a code you would go down to the second one here and you would erase the code okay I'm not sure exactly what that is guys. I'm guessing this one right here is for emissions. Emission readiness. So if, you're, if your state or uh, it requires emissions, uh, you need to know if your vehicle is ready for that emissions because they'll plug in something and, you know, a uh, car has to have in, uh, a certain amount of miles or time is driven so the emissions is logged. So you can check it. Let's check it here if this car is ready for emissions or not. So let's see. Okay, so here you can check when's the last time the codes have been cleared. Let's go ahead and check that. Okay. An A for everything, so it looks like nothing's wrong. So I guess this one, so I guess it's, uh, there's no codes here, so I guess it's ready for the uh, emissions readiness. So. so here we have vehicle info. Click that. Okay, so we have to turn off the car with the ignition on. So we're going to turn it off. And instead of starting it, I'm just going to turn the ignition on. So we got vehicle ID number, calibration ID. So here we have the VIN number of the car. Calibration ID or whatever that means. It's kind of a verification numbers of the calibration. I guess that's the vehicle info. Exit. Exit test. Yes. Alright, so now we are back to square one with the menu. So yeah guys, if you have problems or you need to check something, this is a great thing to have. You know, this is something that an average person can use and not get confused. Um, they do have a lot more fancier ones where you can go through menus and check certain things and whatnot else. 
those are nice for sure but for an everyday person this is the way to roll you know they need to check what's wrong with their car and then you know get it fixed or you know just reset that whatever it is that the check engine lights coming up for so you know sometimes it's for simple things that you know once you reset the check engine it'll never come back it's just you know had a glitch or something so and you know something like this could do that very easily without you having to get out of your way and go to the repair shop or whatever to get it checked out or reset you can look at it right quick yourself and assess you know what kind of a problem you're having all right guys so that's pretty much it for this obd2 reader if you guys like this video hit that like button and if you enjoyed this kind of content and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and also guys i'll be giving away this reader right here so check your links in the description of how to enter that giveaway and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one